Yo, what is up everybody? It's me, Thelma we back with another episode of a what if that you guys really seem to like. What if Naruto was an alchemist from Full, Ma Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? And last time on the last what if for the first episode, Naruto unlocked the ability to and learned alchemy, the basics of alchemy using transmutation circles from the scroll of sealing. He also learned how he can deconstruct things and then not reconstruct them without needing to use like dr without drawing a new transmutation circle every time so now he's wearing gloves with transmutation circles on them that he can use to deconstruct things just like a scar does in film alchemist brotherhood this way is what he learned in the last episode and now he's itching for a fight and to test out his new abilities this time naruto and the others have just completed their last year mission where they caught a cat and Naruto feels itching for a fight. He hasn't done anything useful in so long since the bell test, and he hasn't had to fight anything for a long time. He, when they go to meet the third Okage for their next mission, Naruto complains that they haven't had a hard enough mission in a while, and that they need something more difficult. The third Okage smiles and decides to amuse, amuse Naruto, and because Kakashi and Sasuke are there, he thinks that it's okay to give them a little harder of a mission. So he decides to give them a... C rank mission, which is Tazuna the bridge builder guard him and bring him back to the land of waves. So Tazuna comes in and he sees Sasuke, Naruto, and Sakura and Kakashi, and he makes fun of Naruto for being short. And Naruto's this pisses kind of Naruto off, just like how Edward from Fullmetal Alchemist gets pissed off when he's called short, just as a throwaway gag. And then Tazuna says that if these guys can really protect them, the third Hokage says it should be fine, and they decide to head out of the Leaf Village. As Team 7 walks alongside Tazuna out of the Leaf Village, and they're walking along the path, there's a puddle on the ground that Kakashi notices. A few minutes later, suddenly, Kakashi is stabbed by Kunai, and it appears that he's dead. Naruto and Sasuke immediately leap into action. Naruto, being much more confident in his abilities this time around, isn't scared, and he clasps his hands onto the ground and instantly turns the surrounding area to dust, creating a hole so that way they have cover. Sasuke jumps out of it and then uses his shuriken to throw at them. Naruto covers Sasuke and then uses Drunk's quick transmutation circle to push Earth up in front to protect Sasuke. Sasuke jumps off of the wall of Earth and then pushes right into the first demon brother. Then, Naruto throws a kunai at the second demon brother, which he blocks. Sakura is, is protecting Tazuna right now. Naruto and Sasuke both leap, run towards the last brother. The brother tries to defend himself, but with both of them wailing on him, then with punches and kicks, he falls to the ground. Naruto and Sasuke look at each other for a second, and they share. And Sasuke has a small smile, which is the first time Naruto ever sees Sasuke smile at him, and it makes him happy. So after the, everyone gets back up, Naruto fixes the fi fixes the tra uh, all the, the holes in the in the road that he made using his alchemy. And Kakashi appears back, showing that he used the substitution jutsu. And he said that it was cool. He, he saw what Sasuke and Naruto did and said that that was some really good teamwork there. So that was a good job. Naruto doesn't make his oath this time around, unfortunately, because he wasn't scared. And he doesn't make that vow to never be afraid again. This time, however, he knows that as long as he can master alchemy and his skills that he's learning, that he'll become the greatest ninja ever. Naruto continues walking along with Sasuke, Tazuna, Nar Kakashi, and Sakura. Kakashi asks Tazuna what that was all about, since it was supposed to be a C rank mission, and having Chunin level uh, ninja go after Tazuna seems like no mere coincidence. Now, what they were wondering is if he was going after the bridge builder, if the demon brothers were going after the bridge builder, or after the leaf ninja. Tazuna eventually confesses that what happened and how he didn't have enough money to pay for a higher advanced group of ninja in order to help guard him so that he could get back and help build the bridge to his people. When he explains to Kakashi what Gato did, after a while, Kakashi understands and says that they'll still go through with the mission anyway. When they're, they keep walking until eventually, they finally make it over and they get across. What happens, unfortunately, is a tree comes flying, a tree, a sword comes flying across ahead of top of them and Kakashi says, duck. Everyone dives to the ground and the sword slashes right into the tree. Suddenly, a man appears on top of the tree. He turns to those left, and you can see he has a mask on and a headband on top, and he says that his name is Zabuza. 
Then, that means Kakashi understands who this is. He says, oh my god, it's Zabuza, the demon mist, the demon of the hidden mist, sword, seven swordsmen. And that's the executioner blade. Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura are scared of what's happening. Kakashi immediately gets into a fighting position and says that the others should get into a, to, to guard Tazuna. He, they jump into the fight. Kakashi slashes a Vakunai at, at Zabuza's face, which he easily swipes out with his sword and blocks. They exchange hand-to-hand -hand blows, Zabuza using his sword to counter Kakashi and slash at him from long range distances, while Kakashi uses kicks and acrobatics to try and move down and under Zabuza. The fight's just as impressive as the original for the first part, and when they're fighting, it gets pretty intense. Kakashi gets a few hits and Zabuza gets a few hits. Unfortunately, they get close to the water by the lake, and Zabuza and them are fighting on top of it now. This is perfect for Zabuza, as he can, meet, find, he can use his jutsu, and he pushes Kakashi into his water prison jutsu. Sasuke and Naruto decide that they need to help, so what they do is they come up with a plan. Naruto says that he can use his alchemy to, to make a bridge over and to disconnect them from the water. Sasuke says that if, he, that if they do it together, they might be able to come up with something. So eventually they decide that if Naruto can get behind, he can use alchemy and deconstruct the water that Kakashi's in. Which Sasuke doesn't know how he does that, but Naruto decides. So, so the same thing happens in the original where Sasuke throws the demon wind shuriken and the shadow shuriken behind it. Zabuza can, can, can't, couldn't see the second one in the shadow of the first, and he and it gets behind him. And just as it gets behind him, Naruto de transforms and then pushes his hand towards the water. Zabuza has no idea what he's doing, but as soon as he touches the water, the light, an electric, an electric light blasts off his hand and it surrounds the water, instantly turning all the water into dust, or water vapor particles. Kakashi easily stands up and says thanks to Naruto, and then he pulls up his headband and reveals that his Sharingan. Naruto falls into the water at this point since he doesn't know how to use that, and he has to. He starts swimming back to the shore. Kakashi immediately begins fighting with Zabuza, giving him no time to attack Naruto or the others. Kakashi, at that point, pulls out his Sharingan and he begins copying all of his moves. He uses the Water Dragon Jutsu and mirrors him to the exact, to the point where he hits him with it and goes faster than him at predicting himself. When is about to get killed, Haku, as we know as Haku, throws Senbot into his neck and kills him. The others have no idea what's going on, but it seems that he's dead, so they let him go. Immediately, Kakashi passes out, and Naruto and Sasuke, Sakura, and Tazuna take him back to his house. When they take him back to, his, to Tazuna's house, Kakashi is resting, and the others begin to decide what they should do. S Sasuke decides that he should be training and working on his skills because that last fight with Zabuza, they couldn't do anything. Sakura agrees that she should train with Sasuke too, and then Naruto s decides that he needs to work on his alchemy. So he begins training of his alchemist skills. He goes out to the, to the woods and begins deconstructing things with both hands, and then reconstructing them as fast as he can with his other hand. He's trying to figure out a way to do something to where he can almost teleport something by throwing it and then deconstructing and reconstructing it. It doesn't really work out for him, but he continues to practice it. It's almost like a reverse form of flying Raijin. Instead of the person being able to move with their object, they can throw. he can throw the object and d teleport it to somewhere else, almost. He then continues to practice this until for the next three days, and he thinks that he's developed an interesting little kind of technique. Then, eventually Kakashi wakes up and tells them about the tree climbing exercises, and they begin practicing. And they both decide that is still alive because that Simbun might have just temporarily killed him. So, they begin training for the next fight with Zabuza. Thanks guys for watching. If you guys want part 3, then hit 10 or 20 likes on this video, and part 3 will definitely come out. Uh, after this video today, we're definitely going to be posting a new what if that is not Naruto related. So I hope that does well. Hope you guys like that too. And uh, thanks everybody. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye. It's black and white.